if it's a speed day, you can count on the weather coming in. All these coaches will get together, have a meeting, and we'll see what's in store. Gonna follow Karen around today, make a few more slips on this hill, see if everybody can run this safely and get all this snow slipped off. Tori, if they do go to suits, just let me know. I've just got one thing that changes here at B Road uh, with the speed. Alex, DK. Oh. Um, Karen, what's your approach and philosophy with the video? How do you approach that with the girls? I don't know. I mean, are you really focusing on what you want to see more of that they're doing right? Or you Absolutely. You, yeah. Is that kind of your approach? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I would say with video, the, the important thing is to look at what's going well and how you can make it better. Um, and if you're always approaching it from that way, um, then you're building um, on what they need. And it's also something to be aware of where you really try to take the value judgment off of it. So it's not um, better or worse. It's what's more effective and what's going to create more speed, what's going to allow you to accomplish the goal that you have in this section. And just even having that type of mindset when you uh, when you approach it then it's a lot it's a lot easier to uh, create change because um, really at the end of the day they're all amazing skiers um, and it's not about looking good or being perfect or uh, trying to be uh, good or bad it's how to be fast. So it just makes it a little bit more objective versus subjective because the trap that you can fall into, and I still fall into it, is you watch video and all you're doing is error correcting. Like, you're not doing this, you're not doing that, you're not doing that, which is the easiest thing in the world to do, but it's not effective for the athlete. It's like, okay, great, you've just gone off and on about what I'm not doing. What is it I need to do? And so always focusing on what needs to happen so that, you know, and here, the nice thing about ski racing, that our goal is to get faster. So how do we get faster? And keeping it objective versus subjective is huge that way. Tori, Rosie's is clear. Just so you know, we took the last gate out. So if somebody's running a little bit late down there on the last left footer where the finish eye is, it's no problem. There's no more gate down there. And just like I said, full attention to the finish. Okay, lights out is clear. B road clear. So um, so get, introduce yourself real quick on this, and then. Oh, Bill Bomb. So Bill, what are you doing up here this morning? Uh, sh shooting high speed still imagery of the women's team. And uh, how is the team using that imagery? Well, I, I, it, Karen's using it, I think, for herself to start with. I don't know if they're going to show the athletes, but I've been doing it with the men. And it's uh, taking the best image, the, taking a section of images that where they're doing the best thing that you want them to do. So they're in balance, the release is good, they're you know they're in the right positions, and then being able to go back and look at that frame by frame and see what builds that process. So that's pretty fascinating that the coaches are wanting the images of what the athletes are doing well and correctly. Yeah, Randy's always been kind of on the ball with that, you know? Huh. So. Wow, that's uh, I, a lot, because a lot of people in the instructor world, you know, we're just picking out what's going wrong, what's going wrong. And my philosophy has always been building on what folks are doing right. Exactly, me too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so. Now, and you, you worked with some other national teams. Were they kind of focusing on a similar thing? Yeah, I, I got a chance to work with the Austrians back in the early 90s, and that was their focus. The coaches I worked with, Walter Hubman and Tony Giger, and, and that was their focus was only to show what was right. 